Hey, this is Nick for Gotham Sound and Communications. Today we're going to do a comparison between the most common Zaxcom body pack transmitters. Uh, we've got the TRX LA, ZMT, and ZMT X. Um, so the ones pictured here are some of the older models in terms of form factor. They're exactly the same, um, but uh, we don't have any of those of the newer ones available for demo at this time. Um, so let's start out with uh, the things they all have in common. So the TRX LA5, ZMT4, and ZMT4X, uh, they're all, they all transmit digitally. Uh, they've got two different modes available. Um, that's XR and uh, ZHD. Uh, they all have uh, digital encryption that you can turn on. Um, they all have NeverClip, though the NeverClip specs are slightly different on the LA5. Uh, NeverClip on the LA5 gives you 126 dB of dynamic range, while on the ZMT4 and the ZMT4X uh, you get 136 dB of dynamic range. Um, all three can transmit and record simultaneously. Um, all three have ZaxNet remote control, uh, which allows you to change the frequencies, start and stop recording, and um, use power roll to uh, increase or decrease the amount of, um, of power you're transmitting at when you're rolling. Uh, and then there's also a, a ZaxNet QC IFB transmitter built in uh, as well. So uh, let's start with the differences. Um, so first let's talk about size. Um, so as you can see, the uh, TRX LA5 uh, is the biggest of the three. Uh, it's uh, about three inches by 2.4 inches uh, and then uh, about 0.65 inches thick. Uh, and the ZMT4 is the smallest of the group. Uh, it's about 2.2 inches high. 1.6 across and then uh, 0.55 inches uh, thick. And then the ZMT4X uh, is right in the middle. So we've got um, 2.6 inches tall, 1.8 inches wide, and 0.9 inches thick. So it's actually the thickest of the bunch. Uh, and I'll turn them all to the side so you can see that. Uh, bring that one down so you can see that too. Um, so in terms of weight, um, it's going to be kind of a similar conversation. The TRX LA5, with it being the largest, um, is 3.2 ounces without the batteries. Um, the ZMT4 is 2.2 ounces with the battery, and the ZMT4X is 4.4 ounces with the battery. Uh, and speaking of batteries, uh, so there are uh, each of them uses a different kind of battery. Uh, so the LA5. If you were to look on the back, it takes two AA batteries. Um, the ZMT4, and I'll just put the battery over it, uh, uses a Fuji NP50. Um, and the ZMT4X uses a Motorola BT100 or BT110. Uh, so you can see uh, the ZMTs both use different rechargeable batteries, uh, and the LA5 uses kind of off the shelf AA's. Um, in terms of battery life, since we're talking about batteries, um, the TRX LA5 uh, can get over 10 hours with AA lithium batteries. Uh, the ZMT4 um, can get up to seven hours on one uh, NP50 battery um, when used with a lavalier, or six hours um, with a when being used with a phantom-powered mic. And the ZMT4X uh, can get up to 16 hours. So for long battery life, uh, the ZMT4X is the way to go. Uh, in terms of microphones and how you would input into them, so the TRX LA5, you can see, has a single three-pin limo, as does the ZMT4. Um, but the ZMT4X has two microdot connectors. So you see there's the two microdot connectors for two different microphones. So you could actually transmit in stereo or you can transmit a single channel lavalier uh, just out of one input. Um, and in terms of voltage options, uh, so all these transmitters have the ability to do 5 volts. So uh, any 5 volt lavalier will work fine on any 
of these transmitters. But the ZMT4 um, also has the ability to do 48 volt phantom out of the um, out of the three pin limo. So this could be used for plant mics on the end of a boom, um, etc. Um, and then the uh, in terms of transmission, uh, so they have s the TRX LA5 um, has an increased range or like frequency options compared to the ZMT4s. So the, um, the LA5 can transmit from 512 to, to 608, and then again from 614 to 616, uh, and then 653 um, to 663, uh, where both of these ZMTs uh, will transmit from 512 to 608. Uh, these are just the US models here. We're not, we, um, not discussing international models. Uh, and then our final category are the, the different transmit powers. Um, so the TRX LA5 uh, has a software selectable um, settings to do 10, 20, or 100 milliwatts. Uh, and this does depend, again, you know, what region you're, you're buying your transmitters in. Uh, the ZMT4 can do 10 or 50 milliwatts, again, software selectable. And the ZMT4X uh, will do 25, 50, and 75 milliwatts. Um, anyway, so that's just our quick comparison. Uh, you can click the link below to see more information about this, download a chart uh, that we've made. Uh, but again, about the TRX LA5, ZMT4, and ZMT4X. Um, if you want more information, you can email us at infogothamsound.com, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, uh, and you can watch more videos like this at gothamsound.tv. Thanks so much for watching.